Well, you just went and visited, right? Yeah. All right, so YouTube, we're back. We're back to do another workout. We're actually going to train back today. It is my second favorite day of the week. This is back training. Legs is my first, as you know. My least favorite is my arm training. You should know that, J-Mac. We're going to get this in a little bit. Uh, I've had three meals today, so we're going to shoot some other content here. And, of course, I got my food, too, right here. Show my food. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a have a meal after I train. There's actually two meals in there. How's that? I came super prepared because we never know how long it's gonna take. Someone asked me today about creatine and when I take it. And the truth is, I take it before and after. You know why I take it before and after? Because I have an unlimited supply. <laughs> That is that doesn't mean that everyone should just overly take products. That's my I, my favorite line ever is, it, you know why I do this because it's an unlimited supply. <laughs> so the main thing I'm going to focus on today is uh, how many exercises, at least four. Still scaled down on a little bit of that crazy volume, so I'll kind of explain a couple things as I go through it. Um, and it should be pretty easy, pretty standard. So I'm gonna do something to really pull down, stretch. Uh, we're gonna do some row movements. Um, I kinda know what I'm gonna do for exercises, so I'm gonna do a pull down, I'm gonna do a reverse grip, I'm gonna do some sort of a row, and then uh, you know maybe like a reverse grip something, so pretty much standard. And today is, it's midweek, so this is a little midweek motivation video uh, for you guys. We had a great expo this past weekend, uh, the Fit Expo in L.A., which I was there only Saturday. Had a lot of new, new people come over to me, tell me a lot of cool stories, which was awesome. Uh, you never imagine how much impact you, you make on people um, because, you know, I've been away from the competitive scene for so long, but... There's so many people that now are following what I do on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, all the outlets uh, that's all recycled content, right? They never saw me witness me compete against Ronnie and Phil Heath and all these other guys, right? The early years. So people don't see the struggles as much. And I want to tell everyone out there that, you know, sometimes we all struggle with things, right? And I did hear a lot of those stories is overcoming obstacles and how somehow they had met me prior or this is the first time meeting me and I say why do you come to these expos why do you come and wait in these long lines and obviously people are nervous to speak and whatever else and they say because we're looking for motivation I fell off or I'm looking for a, a kind of a route and they ask me how do I go about it how do I start attacking it and the truth is is everyone's going to have a different reason why they start everyone's going to have a different um a like kind of a path to get there. And I think the most important thing is, is, you know, don't, don't necessarily write your own journey. You don't have to necessarily follow the path that I took or Ronnie took, or, you know, you're, you have to work your way up and you have to start, start to find that way that's going to give you value in, in each day that you push forward. Okay. So, uh, and I didn't have a lot of easy um, access to how to actually work out in the gym. I mean, I, went and I sat, I remember sitting in the corner at the gym and I would watch guys work out. And back then we didn't have the power of social media or, or a lot of video. So it was more picking up books and visually watching people um, face to face, be able to learn. And, and you know, those techniques aren't always the best. I mean, watching people train in the gym, sometimes it's not the proper way. And of course I had to look at the articles that I read about Arnold and okay, the repetition scheme and the volume and you know how long the workout should be. I mean, it's, it's like that theory, right? You shouldn't train more than an hour of weights. I was training two hours, sometimes three hours a day, probably overtraining. But the most important thing was as I had to find what worked best for me. So to be honest, some days are longer than other days. Some days are shorter. Uh, it really depends on my mood, you know, how anxious I am. You know, lately I've been talking about, I've been training like super late at night. Um, so sometimes I'm in here at, at almost midnight and luckily I have a gym that is super quiet 
and I can kind of pick and choose exercises to do and not have people sitting there on those movements. But you saw a recent video of Gold's Gym. If you guys haven't gone back, the Gold's Gym Venice uh, video just released, and you can see every movement I made, I had someone come up and, you know, tell me something or, or take a picture or whatnot. So I had a lot of uh, a lot of disturbance but it was positive, right? I mean, that's the reason I went there. And you guys all commented on the interaction that I had with a lot of those people. And you could see the reaction. You could see the, the excitement, right? People came there. I mean, people came in the gym just to take pictures with me, right? We saw the, the, the guy and the, the son from Australia, which is just awesome. You know, I can't imagine that ever being the thing where people actually are excited to meet me in that manner. I mean, I have my pictures on the walls there. And those are only things you dream about, right? But, uh, all in all, like guys, we just got to stay on track. Every day, it's about taking accountability on what you do and setting your goals every single week. So this is a midweek workout, okay? My next workout after this is probably going to be legs, which is my hardest day. Um, we featured a lot of leg sessions on here. I think you shot some of them, right? I mean, so I know it's repetitive. I mean, it's just, you know, week in, week out. It's pretty much the same movements, same repetition schemes, but of course, different atmospheres, different outfit. Uh, different mentality, right? I really want to make the push uh, this year to, you know, continue to have a better physique than most people my age, almost everyone. I mean, I never want to be normal. So uh, for myself, uh, it, it's just overcoming obstacles in order to get there. And, and it's the nutrition, the consistent sleep pattern, the less stress I can be under, and of course, the training aspect. So I'll take you guys through a little workout and, uh, you know, stay with us because uh, we'll take you through what should be one of your favorite days of the week with back training. So I'm gonna finish this pre-workout and I'm gonna get after it. I always post on my media, I said 30,000 feet to myself, you know. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to start with the reverse pull. So I'm going to pull on the lats a little bit. I'll explain how I'm going to do this. All right, so, so reverse pull. We talk about reverse grip. Okay, engage the lats a little more. So I'm going to do an exercise. So front double bicep was always the first pose uh, when we got on stage. And what this exercise is going to do, yes, it's going to create that thickness front to back, but it's going to allow me to pop the lats, start engaging the lats. So I'm going to focus on this, and then I'm going to do a pull-down movement, and then we'll get into some rowing movements. But So a couple field sets here I'm going to go through. Probably won't talk about it much uh, since we get rolling. Uh, two field sets, which basically get it with this weight, and then I'm going to go up a little bit. I may pyramid for you know, the second, third set, but I'm going to do three working sets total on this, maybe four, uh, depending on how I feel. Just get a nice contraction. Usually always my first starting movement. If you remember, I was doing pull downs with a cable uh, reverse grip, but this machine is pretty cool, so it allows me to do that. Actually feeling this at the end of the movement. I'm gonna go up a little bit in weight just for the second feel set. I love that. Did you get it from uh, Vegas Discount or the way you bought it from or? See that he's wearing my belt, Jay Cutler belt. Some people's atmosphere, they need like a lot of action going on, you know? For me, I love the, the quiet. Whenever I used to train, I used to say, I never heard the music. You know, people used to come up, oh, this music is so bad in the gym. I'd be like, what music? And back then the headsets were harder to wear because I felt like they didn't fit as well. You know, they'd get wet, you know, if you're sweating and... 
had the string and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's the cords and so easy. You guys got it so easy now with all the wireless headsets, you know. Oh, this is heavy. You get to get to the gym and be like two sets in and be like, this isn't for me. I need to go home today. You ever get that way or no? That's happened to me even training for Olympias, believe it or not. Just wasn't my day, dude. I could just feel it, you know? I went to a gym in town the other day, pulled in, parked, and I have thought, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can deal with a different atmosphere. And I turned around and drove all the way back here, <laughs> like 20 minutes. Because I'm like, oh, I just want some peace and quiet, you know? All right, so one of the new additions to Kilo Club is the pullover. So I'm gonna focus on doing 10 or 12 reps. Remember, I'm pulling with the elbow, so I'm gonna kind of like I'm doing the Christmas tree. Okay. I'm gonna put this seat I want to show this position of seat. So even me, the seats, it's pretty high up, okay? So pull the lats. All right, so with this, we're rolling right in. Since we're already warm, a lot of these things I might not necessarily do a feel set on, especially something which really doesn't take a lot of technique like this. So I'm gonna roll it into three working sets. So I lied, I said I was gonna do pull down movement next, but this is kind of, would probably do that pull down next. And uh, then we'll get into some weights off the floor, I think. I just thought about it. I didn't deadlift last week, so usually what I've been trying to do is deadlift every other week. So I deadlifts necessary for bodybuilding is the question. Okay, so we're finally doing the pull down movement. Very standard. Show this. This is called Techno Gym, which is my favorite pull down unit. See, he's got the idea. He's doing the deadlifts over there, see? So 10 or 12 reps easy. All right, everyone's favorite T-bar row. So this exercise, I'm gonna start with two plates. Might go up a little bit, but with this, uh, pretty much at a, kind of not totally bent over, but at a 45 and contract the lats out. So, hey. Do you like this one better than the one that supports your chest? I, this one's harder, bro, to be honest. This is, I would probably say, this is one of the hardest back exercises. I'd love to see the comments on there. What the hardest, I mean, deadlifts could be hard. Bent over rows, one arm dumbbell rows. I'm winded. But everyone's technique is a little different. So sometimes people bend way over and they do it like this. Some are like this, some are really more upright, right? I, I'm just, it's hard to, I'll have to watch myself on film to see how much, but so you're gonna get the angle, right? 
So I'm gonna take a minute, one minute in between these, my 60 seconds rest. Keep it there. I started with two. That means you got to start with three. Bro. Let's do it, baby. I'm no, I, <laughs> I was just saying you were killing it over there. Thank you so much. You just asked me about something, though. What'd you ask me about the pad? So what I'm going to do here, guys, uh, I'm going to do rows on this, okay? And we're going to focus on chest. My lower pecs are right here. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, so look at the starting position, palms forward. I mean, uh, fingers forward and I'm gonna come up and twist. Okay. And I'm actually gonna use the J-bells, which is great because they work on an even plane. There's no balance to these things. So watch the turn as I go, okay? That way we hit some different fibers. All right, so three sets of these. And then I'll probably do some Cable rows are, I don't know if I'm going to deadlift today. We'll see. I'm going to use a little different grip. You see this bar that's on here? I'm actually going to, I haven't even, show, I don't think I've ever shown this on camera. So I'm going to do this grip. Okay, so a little, really focus on that, that tree portion of the lats. Do a little wider grip. Normally I'm usually close with this. This used to be my, one of my favorite exercises when I did that grip instead of the close. So I guess I can talk about it because I don't think this video will launch before then. Uh, so pet butters, my Jay's pet butter, which we might be able to show, show a little clip on this. We went on Shark Tank back in June and it's airing this Friday which you guys will see, it had already aired, so you can see what the result was on Shark Tank. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm pretty much pulling this to my belly button. So you guys often ask what should be the pull point I think most of the time it's the belly button, but with this bar is actually touching where my belly button is. All right, so how many exercises? One, two, three, four, five. That's six, right? Six times three is 18. I think that's enough. I, I, I don't think I need to torture myself with deadlifts this week. I might do one set. <laughs> Is it bad to do one set though? It's gonna take me more time to load the weights up, but I'm just showing you guys on YouTube. I don't make excuses either. So hang tight, let me load this bad boy up. And uh, Tell you guys why. So I think the deadlifts work the whole body, which I think is really good. Like I feel it works the glutes, hamstrings, the back. I'm really gonna try to 
only focus though on engaging my lats, if that makes sense. Although it's impossible to, I always said it's very hard to isolate only one muscle. Unless I was hanging upside down and, and uh, pulling. But here, so this is our first and our final set. So this is gonna, this is gonna wrap up our YouTube video ending besides an outro. But why don't, why don't I do the outro right now? And this is our back workout. Like I said, I did six. This is the seventh movement. So I, I basically did over 20 sets where back in the era, the era, the huge era, I was doing 30 sets for back. Now I came kind of close this time. And I lied because I said I was gonna do how many movements? Four? Yeah. And here we are, we're on a seventh movement. Okay, so 225. I'm gonna do this eight times, that's my goal, okay? And I'm going right into my heaviest weight. Normally I do a plate warm up, but since the back's already good, I'm feeling strong. Let's see what I can do, okay? So it's, it's not about always the heavy, heavy weight. We just witnessed that guy, he was doing like four plates. He's gonna look over here and think, oh, Jay Cutler's only doing this. But I wanna thank you guys for following along this video. Let's get it done. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna start this like this, okay? Rep one. That was nine. That felt good. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I flipped the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to show.